from Madam Principal and the teachers and the students. Good morning. Good morning, Father. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good and that is his nature. Wow. It's a new term. The schools open and students report back. The teachers prepare to take the students through the new term as the students prepare to improve their performance. These are the day-to-day -day activities that motivate them to stay in school as they focus on realizing their dreams. Mukumu Girls High School has been in existence for over 50 years and every year more than 200 girls transit from the school to higher levels of learning. The school uh, was started in 1959 by Osoline sisters and uh, looking at the history of the school there has been a stability of uh, uh, the leadership of the school. The school has had only uh, eight principals. Our current school enrollment, we have uh, 1,355 uh, uh, students. Actually, that's quite a big number. Uh, form 1s alone are 364. Form 2s are 283. Uh, form 3s are 288 and Form 4s are 321. Uh, we have uh, 50 teachers employed by the Teacher Service Commission and the School Board of Management has also employed another 10 teachers to cushion uh, the other regular teachers. Um, we have a support staff of about uh, 44 who are permanent and uh, another about 11 who are casuals. The school has served as a bridge to a brighter future for the alumni. Many former students are now doctors, professors, judges of the high court, teachers, principals, administrators, researchers, nuns, pastors, lecturers, lawyers, among other professions. Mkumo was known for its brilliant performance for a very long time, in the 60s, 70s, and in the 80s. And because of that, Mkumo produced very prominent women in various fields in the country, ranging from top educationists, top lawyers, magistrates, judges, doctors, um, people in the media, and in sport, and literally across the board. But for girls like Nyamori, it is hard for her to tell if she will be able to stay in school due to lack of school fees. I'm the first born in, a, in, a, in, the, in a family of, of three. I'm being sponsored by Endowment Fund Project. We are four of us. I want to thank God for whatever he has done for me for the fires brought me because I never knew if I'll be here in Kumo, but thanks be to God. I received a letter to be in this school, but my parents never had, never had a thing because they, most, my parents, they are just peasant farmers. They depend on farming, on our small plots to provide for a for our, our basic needs. I was privileged to be among the members of being sponsored by an oral fun, fun project. And this is the time when I became settled in my academics and I started working hard till now. 
I'm seriously working hard and I've, I've maintained the top position till now. I'm currently at grade B plus and I thank good for this and together with the school administration. We have had so many girls who are actually needy but very bright. There are some who, because of uh, lack of sponsorship, they have not managed to finish school here. They have had to go to day schools elsewhere. Um, we have managed to get a few girls on board using the endowment fund that was launched by, uh, this was a brainchild by um, Mrs. Kavai then, she's now Honorable Kavai. And uh, we started off with uh, seven girls who we took through school. Five are yet to take their degree courses, but they all did well. The least got um, a B minus. Uh, there were two special girls who are twins who had uh, a very needy background. They didn't have a dad and their mom was actually uh, hoping between businesses. Uh, so on sympathetic grounds, we took them and uh, they tried their best. One got a B, another one got a B minus. They are in college. In the past, uh, the school used to take almost an entire class to the university, both the arts and the science class. But by 2006, every time the results came out, we failed to see our school among those listed as top performers in the country. So some of us in Nairobi got together and uh, decided to bring uh, the old girls uh, together to uh, form the alumni and de deliberate on what we can do to give back to the society and especially to support the school and uh, to mentor the girls at the school so that they can begin to um, regain the glory of the school. So the alumni has four main objectives and one of them is to provide mentorship. So from 2008, the old girls have been going to the school yearly to talk to the girls. We focus mainly on the Form 3 and the Form 4s, but we spend more time with the Form 4 uh, classes. The second um, objective was to uh, establish an, an endowment fund um, because by the time we had a discussion with Mrs. Kavai, who was then the principal of the school, uh, she talked about some bright girls who go to school and have to um, leave the school or they spend a lot of time being sent back and forth to, to go and uh, seek school fees from home. And therefore the, uh, the principal at that time appealed to the members to see whether we can set up a fund that can support needy uh, girls from needy homes who really sub, uh, were bright but needed support with school fees. So in 2008, again, we started talking as girls uh, regarding uh, ways in which we can support um, bright girls uh, to go through school without the disruptions that really affect their learning. The third um, objective was to network, uh, to provide an opportunity for the old girls to come together to support each other socially and through different ways in which um, um, we find ourselves in and we've had uh, over time supported each other socially during illness during a death when somebody needs help we also network provide linkages to opportunities so this is what the alumni has done for the girls It is your time to change a life, to change lives for good by supporting the endowment fund to build income that will help many girls like Nyamori access their education and change their lives and brighten their future. The girls are doing it. The teachers are doing it. The alumni have started. You too can do it. Join us today. All out for girls. Yeah, the needy students, they are there every year. So sometimes personally we help, 
one or two we just uh, you know pay their fees once in a while and then other things uniforms sometimes i give them free then um, the other areas the school has actually become big infrastructure and even number of students teachers we are now almost 60 something including the bio bog teachers the most important thing as an alumni or an old girl of Mukumu, I actively participate in the alumni because of the need that I saw while I was here as a student. There were so many students who had various challenges, but during our time, we didn't have forums where people could speak up. So during this time that I, I came back as an old girl on invitation, I looked at the challenges that were there and uh, luckily there were structures in place for the students to be able to express themselves. So the plight of most of the students really touched my heart and uh, that's why I've actively participated in this uh, program for the mentorship and the endowment farm. I really appreciate the older girls like on a visiting day or other functions, one or two representatives of the parents, uh, the endowment fund, they come and talk to the parents directly and even uh, address them. Definitely I am very sure because not all parents are not, uh, like that, they are, many of them will be willing to help. But sometimes when they come to the shop and uh, when we are free we talk and uh, I talk to many parents and I realize that there are so many parents ready to help. On that same note, I want to sincerely appreciate all the old girls of this school for the initiative they have taken to, aside from uh, paying fees for these needy girls, to create time out of their busy schedule to come and mentor our students. Out of the talks that they have given to these girls, we have seen a lot of improvement in the uh, conduct of the girls, we have seen them aspire for very challenging courses, courtesy of the role modeling that has been done by the old girls. So I want to encourage them to continue with that initiative. It is a worthwhile project, and I want to say together we can assist these girls to reach very far in their uh, careers. Thank you so 